Hey guys, Tiffany here. Um, so I'm gonna do a little bit of stamping on this uh, simplest style four plate. Um, there you go. You can see it. Um, I had a, one of my good friends, Pretty Things Rock, um, asked me if I'd do a little stamping on it, and I told her I would. Um, if you guys do buy these, these are the cheap ones, you know, not the MoU. They don't come with the backing or anything. You know, they're really thin, and they are really sharp. I don't know if you can see that. Hold on. Let me see. You can see, like, right here. Okay. Um, <laughs> excuse me. I kept myself on the edge of one of these. So I'll have to do the backing. Um, Nina Rama, Rama, Ramirez, not Ramirez, why am I, Ramos, hello. Um, she did a DUI on putting backing on them and it worked really well. So I'm going to have to do that with my plates, I just haven't done them. So I'm going to go ahead and get stamping. Um, I'm of course going to use the creative stamper. But when I first got stamping stuff, I ordered this one. And I had trouble with it. I couldn't get it to stamp when I first got it. I don't know why. Um, but I'm going to try it out and see with the, you know, with the stamping polishes if it gets any better. <clears throat> um, but for the most part, I'm going to use my Creative Shop. Because it is a very good one. Sorry, guys. Probably should have got my, you know claw with acetone on it ready but hey <clears throat> I'll catch up eventually okay guys <laughs> just kidding uh, but anyway um and then I did my um MD Mun Munoz Diaz I'm probably saying that wrong I did yesterday I went through and I stamped the back of them You know, the little sample they give you to try it out on. The silver and the gold look so pretty. <clears throat> so y'all can see what they look like. And I'm just going to use these to stamp a little bit with. Some of them didn't come out quite as good, but I'm kind of new to stamping, so I wouldn't have, you know, horribly surprised either. But hey, you know, I do my best for right now. Alright. <clears throat> See, I want to do a bright color. Let me show you the gold. I need to get one of those ink mixers, guys. We'll see how long my camera lasts, too. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and do the skull because it's really, really pretty. And I'm just going to stamp on the paper, so. Put a little too much. These definitely need to be mixed. that look how pretty that is look how good that picked up I'm really happy with these polishes guys <clears throat> and that was the the big skull in the middle that was right there um let's do the I'm gonna do the Oops, the little skull over here with the bow on it. Let me show you the silver. These really need to be mixed. Do y'all know if we can put the little metal balls in here to help shake them up, you know? Anyway. Ugh. I wish you guys could really see this silver. I mean, it's... Ugh. It's just gorgeous. 
is really, really pretty, guys. And I found that if you use a paper towel to wipe it off, it comes off, like, completely. Get some of the flowers around her and stuff. If y'all have any tips or anything for me, I'm more than welcome to hear them. There's the silver. Look, isn't that good as heck? I hope y'all can see that. But I'll show you pictures. Ah. Yeah, if you let it dry too much. The silver, I noticed, sometimes it leaves an imprint. But I think it's just because it's not mixed very well. But hey, I'll do one more with the silver. I want to try this one. Um, let's do the silver again. Yeah, if y'all don't have these polishes, they are so good. See? Y'all saw me stamp it and it's still on there. And it's kind of leaving an impression on the stamper, which is really making me mad. Let me try the other stamper. Um, let's do the pink. Um, and I did do a haul video on these for anybody who wants to know, you know, what the colors are, so. Y'all can go check out that haul video. If y'all want to see the colors, or the names of the colors, I should say. I'm going to try the other stamper. See? Yeah, I don't like this stamper. I don't know what I'm doing wrong with it, but it doesn't pick up for me. And I, I, I had issues with it ever since I got it, so I'm done with that one. Alright, let me clean off the plate. Okay, um, let's see, I'm gonna do the pink again. Here's another skull with um, a bow on it, but it's got the crossbones. Yeah, definitely, if y'all got any tips for me, you know, with stamping, please let me know. See if I can get it to. There's that one. <clears throat> and I noticed if you take too long, <laughs> it's it doesn't come off. So you have to do it kind of quick, and I'm still picking that up, I guess. Let's see. Let's do the mouse.
I don't know, maybe I need a <clears throat> replacement head for the stamper. But anyway, um, you know, I'm not going to do any more. But, uh, you know, I did a couple. Let me show you. You know what I got. <laughs> like, see, that was that gold. That was really good. The other ones, for some reason, didn't come out amazing. Do it with the black. Okay, I lied. I'm gonna do like one more. I'm gonna do this one a little bit faster and see if it works a little bit better. Maybe I'm taking too long to stamp. Whoops. Yeah, I'm just taking too long to stamp. Because these are coming out really good. Oops. Um, anybody know where I can get a, you know, replacer stamper head for a decent price? I would love to know. Um... Let's do this. It'll be upside down, but hey, hey, you know. Just to do a little, you know, more stamping on the plate. That one didn't completely get, but it'll do. But, uh, yeah, it stamps really well, you know. I'm also a beginner stamper, so <laughs> they might not be completely best, but look at that gold. Isn't it beautiful? But, uh, the, the plate definitely stamps really good. You know, if you've had more practice with stamping, you probably do a little bit better than me. Because <laughs> I'm still learning stamping, so don't be too mean on me, okay, guys? Alrighty, well... There you go, Miss Pretty Things Rock, Miss Emmy. Um, Alright guys, I'll see you guys later. Bye!